good evening to all today is a wonderful day uh, today's spoken english class is that is the 7th day this 7th day i asked to uh, our tirunelveli education coordinator mr rao de pukurukal to start this day welcome sir thank you thank you madam and madam for your uh, wonderful effort and great effort towards the uh, teachers uh, community in the Take field of voice uh, sir <coughs> voice clearly yeah? is it audible audible or yeah? having some irritating sound okay okay now uh, now is it okay okay no, okay now uh, <laughs> is it audible now is it audible audible but uh, much more sound sound is having then uh, i yeah, 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 uh, yeah, not clear not clear okay okay good evening to all is it correct now no can you hear me sir okay good evening all is it clear it's clear how it's clear is it clear yes sir it's clear okay 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 now i removed my headphone so sometimes head my headphone may be the problem for audio purpose okay okay good evening one and all it is my great pleasure to inaugurate uh, today session today session is going to take by mr maladi madam sir because he arranged another resource person sir vijay kumar sir from kalakurchi from district but at the same time he is not able to attend the class he is not able to take the class today due to his uh, that means health problems and everything so uh, maladi madam uh, take this opportunity to become a uh, resource person here for the welfare of the teachers and uh, everybody so there is no need to introduce our maladi madam to ours only so maladi ma'am is a founder and a director of sara lakshmi and working as a graduate teacher in government uh, high secondary school uh, vira kerala bodur tenkasi district so let us go the class and uh, we'll have some that means what uh, interrogation and we will get uh, action in this a uh, class today the topic is the common error when we speak english when we speak foreign language when we speak a common language that is called english we are putting some common error okay uh, what are the error so yes what are the error? there are so many errors but uh, now we are going to see about some errors which are used by the people and commonly okay let us go and enjoy the class thank you ananda thank you so much sir uh, good evening again good evening to all now i share my screen uh, today topic is common errors committed by the english learner wait a minute okay so all are no uh, articles all are study very well in english uh, from third standard in your days uh, third standard onwards you have studied english but you know the meaning everything but little bit confused uh, what are the confusion uh, what is the correct one today we will see uh, the article confusion you said the wrong word uh, in many people are used the people use a lot of critic words but in the right way right sentence people use a lot of critic words it's uh, to avoid the the thg because of uh, a definite article is not used when speaking speaking generally uh, if you are speaking about a specific people uh, particularly the people of north the people of india the people of south africa i be anything it is a particular one that time use only the people uh, then the definite article is that time only necessary so and now we will uh, we learn the people use 
in article confusion particularly the article is used in the necessary the common one is particularly definite article is not used when speak, speaking that this is a void and the next one which and what confuses is regularly i feel so many times uh, what is the which and what confusion which and what are not always interchangeable i know and you know the meaning interchangeable yeah general rule is if your choice is in front of you for example uh, i have two uh, kinds of toys i have two kinds of fruits uh, one is apple and another one is orange at that time i have uh, which one do you want now only use this which but in the choice is more abstract so particularly you use what what kind of toys do you like for having two fruits what kind of fruits do you like what kind of books do you like uh, like only the which and what confusion is avoided so uh, we we'll learn about which one do you want for this not a which and what are not always interchangeable so uh, we listen and we concentrate if the choice is in front of you that time only you use which but you are if the choice is more abstract use what then uh, next to use both which and what for to ask in questions so we use which means when there is a restricted range a particular range only a particular uh, things or particular uh, fruits particular books if we have like this uh, we use what more commonly when the range of answer is not restricted then it is not a particular one it is a common one it is a range is a large one so which of your sister lives in usa because which of is a particular which of your sister lives in usa which fruit do you like apple or orange this is a restricted one restricted restricted range that's then for example because of in so many times uh, we use only asking questions so uh, what three habits will you improve your life and for what in your life do you feel most grateful what are you doing what is your product what is your subject what is your uh, professional uh, what is its purpose what have you done what is the next move what are we doing we are going to do next so like this uh because of the this is a particular one so then only you used what then which do you prefer a lemon cake or carrot cake because here the restricted page lemon or uh, carrot only which museum did you visit which museum did you visit like this only you frame up uh, questions which and what and the third one is uh, models third one is uh, models with infinities so in many times uh, we will use models first i must to leave it is getting late this is a sentence i must to leave it is getting late but six arab is i must leave not to it is getting late so you remove to i must leave it is getting late so true model actually is like uh, this model is in the in the from the class 10th answer 10th having a 9th also so you see you ask uh, you are neighbor students if everything you going to ask and see the book 
the first lesson having the models. So many exercises it's done. The model auxiliaries like can, might, could, should, would, and must never take infinities. It's because they use the root word, no conjunct conjugation. Uh, so now we are we understand I must live but it is getting late. Then he said me hello. He said me hello. He said me hello. Uh, many times somebody are using. But in the right one, he said hello. The interact meaning to me, sorry. He said hello. He said me hello. Not like this. He said hello. And the object of the verb says what is said. Not the person it is said to. Many times it is not even necessary to indicate to whom it was said. So that's that he said hello is used. And tomorrow comes my friend. Tomorrow comes my friend. It's wrong one. Tomorrow comes my friend. It's a wrong sentence. First, the right, first, the, my friend will come tomorrow. My friend will come. So remove, yes. My friend will come tomorrow. So, R is coming tomorrow. Like this, you please. Often, why means when a student starts a sentence with a preposition, guys, or an adverb or time, like this, uh, avoid, yes. Then, the more big. Already all are know that the more uh, and also big word big, separately, the meaning. Uh, here, that house is the more big than that. That house is the more big than that. So that house is bigger than that. The degrees of comparison, bigger than that. That house is bigger than that. The more, to avoid the more, to use that house is bigger than, instead of the more big, we use bigger. And next, adverbs, adjectives. What is the adverb? Already you know that. Confused by many English speakers, English learners often, Mix of adverbs and adjectives. Well is an adverb. Good is an adjective. For example, you, can, you ran well. And your run was good. You ran well and your run was good. The taste was good and went well. So well is an adverb and good is an adjective. Uh, uh, teachers don't feel it is a, not a grammar class. Uh, only they avoid uh, this type of yara only. So, the next one, subject, verb, object. Uh, we imagine in your mind, before speaking in, in English, subject, verb, object. That is, word order is. In English, unlike many other languages in our in our mother tongue, Tamil also, the subject is always necessary and this order has to be followed. For example, anti eight zero. Here only uh, three words only. So on subject, verb, and object. So we create a simple, simple sentence uh, in your notebook and also follow the to writing daily diary. In your diary, you write uh, that day, activities uh, that day, uh, your programs, everything, used in English. In first time, in the first day, you have 
uh, did some mistakes also. Afterwards, uh, uh, daily you, you write the uh, diary. You have some experience. You are you have you you learn lot of things. That's why it's a simple one. Subject, verb, and object. And the next one, preposition. We uh, consider preposition also. There are difficult in every language because every language uses them a bit differently. In English, in is used both for closed spaces and periods of time. The next one, at also, is used for a specific time. Uh, but in is used for closed space for a particular one. And a period of time. In is used both for closed space and a period of time. So that time only you will be used in. And the next uh, preposition is or at is used for specific term, a particular term. And our place, particular place. And own is used to describe the surface, something is on or a day. So the three preposition is often used uh, in, in our spoken English. Okay, the next one. For some examples, I gave. In general, we used at for a point or a particular, that is a point. In for an enclosed space. And on for a surface. Yep. Area, surface. In a, for example, so many words are there. At the uh, corner, in the garden, on the wall, at the bus stop, in London, on the sea. So uh, now the teacher will interact this one. Uh, because uh, please each and every one give one sentence, end of the preposition, at the comes, or use of the preposition, this one. If anybody willing to uh, say the first sentence. First one. I am standing at the corner. Yes, very good. And the next in. I am walking in the garden. Any right or wrong? Please try it. I am walking in the garden, ma'am. Yes, okay. The next then one. The... On the wall. I am, um, he is kicking the ball on the wall. On the wall. He is kicking the ball on the wall. He is climbing on the wall. And then Lichot is on the wall. Uh, next one. And anybody? Ma'am, I think he is climbing the wall. Good. Sitting, sitting. Her voice is breaking, ma'am. Ma'am, she is standing at the bus stop. Yes. Now, now okay, Ali. Now is here. He is. Okay. Uh, you take a screenshot. Uh, you make some sentence using this. Preposition. Okay. Fan is on the ceiling. On the ceiling. Fan is on the ceiling. Good. Our next one. At the door. Anybody? Only one mom is uh, give the answer and try to speak in, uh, try to say my sentence. Others? Okay. Um, I will say, ma'am, I'm Mahalashmi. At the door. Okay, super. Next one. Okay. My uh, cat is at the door. My son is in France. Uh, okay. A flower 
is on the door. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Uh, uh, next one, please try it and like this uh, because you can use it. You write so many sentences. It's a, a few examples only. Okay, we will go to the next one. Whose words? Whose? What is that? What is that? Using in our, in our spoken English. Or who's a possessive form of who? Would I hear that's the mean possessive form of who? Whose plans are these? Yarod of plan. Whose plans are these? Here, who is is a contraction for who is. So, come up a short cut. Who is? Who is going to clean all this mess? So, in different this one only, you can replace who is with who is every time and see if it makes sense. So we use who's and who is. It's a short one. Uh, we, in so many times we use who spent this, who is your class teacher, like this. And capitalization. In English, we capitalize. I as a subject, I am, I do it, I like to uh, give, I like to arrange it, I like to manage it, anyone. In many, uh, in our spoken English class, spoken English time, we use I, I as a subject, and every word it is used by first letter of sentence, then proper names, uh, national no nouns, and uh, adjectives, days of the weeks and months, we use the capitalization. The next one, the ending sentence with preposition. It's the wrong one. What are the what are the preposition? Avoid the ending sentence. It's also become a common to use preposition inappropriately, but not inappropriately. Or to end phrases and questions with prepositions. Example of some preposition at or with in. So in many ways, in many times, bar is the movie theater at. Bar is the movie theater at. But it's wrong. Uh, bar is the movie theater. Not uh, avoid to remove at. Because when asking about the location of a place at should not be used after that should not be used after word. So for those who don't know, prepositions are any words that a squirrel can run with a tree. That is a squirrel run all around, by, through, up, down, around, etc. So that is the tree. So if uh, it's a particular point, ending sentence with preposition in a particular way, at, not used from, the location of the place. Then different then and different from, then and from, which is the one. Words like rather and foster. Sometimes other are comparative adjectives and are used to do so comparison with the preposition than. So greater than, uh, less than, foster than, rather than, like this one. The adjective that is different is used to draw distinction. So when different is followed by the preposition, for said it should be used with the from similar to separate from this one, uh, distinct from or away from. Like this one, we used the different then and different from, away, uh, separate from, distinct from. And uh, for example, my living situation in New York was different from home. Different from home. We clear the from home. Development is different in New York than in Los Angeles. Here then, what is the difference between, you understand the meaning? Development is different in New York than in Los Angeles. 
but my living situation in new york was different from home so we from this sentence we learn uh, between different than and different from then gone and went gone uh, regularly used in many time we used uh, gone went go that's a verb both are past participle verb of to go but seem uh, normally used i should have gone somewhere i should have gone somewhere but in correct in correct i should have gone somewhere this is the correct one but we are used i should have went somewhere i should have went somewhere so instead of went you used gone and who went school when considering whether to use who or who how to rearrange the sentence in your head but sir what's the general rule this is subjects start sentences or classes and the objects end with them subjects start sentences or class that is in class or classes and objects end with them for who is a subjective or nominative pronoun for said along with he see it we and they it is used when the pronoun act as the subject of class so in the general rule uh, who is your father who is this pencil who the next one what school whom is an objective pronoun for sir that all of it is him her it us and them this used uh, when the pronoun act as the objective of a classes so who what's the use in who who is a subjective it's used he she it be and they but in whom is an objective pronoun along with him her it as and them so using who or whom depend on whether you are referring to the subject or object of the sentence it's uh, this is the main one using who or whom it's de- it depends on whether you are referring uh, what is the subject the subject or object of a sentence example who loves you who likes you who is your favorite king favorite actor and you are loved by whom you are loved by whom whom here whom is the objective pronoun in this sentence who is the subjective uh, pronoun okay and then that is me bets that is me i it's a use what's the rule rule to remember i is already know that subject and me also yeah object this the pronoun i along with other subjective pronoun such as we he she you and they when the pronoun is the subject of verb here but in clear and i clear clara and i are going for a coffee and use the pronoun here me along with other adjectives so that a next sentence the dog followed john and me to the door the dog followed john and me to the door so here what is the different what is the use of me and i the dog followed john and me enoda you and me to the door yeah and i and me what is the difference and then fewer and less yeah few uh, in normally often used uh, but the word few you see if you are when discussing countable objects for example uh, he ate pure chocolates then other guy our fear employees attended the meeting and now today the fear 
teachers attended the uh, Zoom meeting. Use here less for then I spent less than one hour finishing this report. I so pure by discussing countable objects. So the next one may and why these are the models may implies a possibility. If in that then may implies a yeah, possibility might implies for more uncertainty. And you may get a headache if you stay out in cold. So may and might use in the in some time. May I come in, sir? In 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 our school, in all the all your school, uh, the students, uh, all our students know this word only. May I come in, teacher? May I come in, sir? Excuse me. These both words all are know very well, the students. So in many times, in many ways, like may is used, like this one. And whether and if, whether. Uh, many people uh, seem to assume that whether it is, whether is interchangeable with if. So uh, for example, I don't know whether I will go out tonight. I don't know. Whether I will go out tonight. I can go out tonight if I have any money. I can, I can go out tonight if I have any money. So what is the difference between and whether and if? It's and it is. It's, it's a possessive pronoun, sir. For example, the puppy is going to find its dog. But it is contraction of it is. That is a short one. It's so hot in July. So you can replace it with it is your free time and reread your sentence for meaning. Uh, then now we are the assignment and the recall some classroom activities and classroom used sentences that is useful to you. This one is the uh, some error of what time what you used this few confusion only. I take this this part. The next shall I start? The next shall I action. Okay, I prefer one ebook for uh, improving your uh, pronunciation. Also, I show to you. Wait. A Guide to Spoken English Sorrel Academy Classroom English The Beginning of the Lesson Greetings Hello, everyone I hear the song. Good morning, everybody Good afternoon, class Hello there, Tom Good afternoon, everybody How are you today? How are you getting on? How's life? How are things with you? Are you feeling better today, David? What a lovely day. What a rainy day. Today is very cold, isn't it? Okay. Now only, that is in, in classroom. Uh, because in these days, we use and again and again, you read the sentence, 
That's why uh, I give this sentence. Greetings. In, in, in your classroom, I imagine my classroom, I go to uh, my class, stay under it. And hello, everyone. Uh, hello, everyone. Each and if any sentence you use with these greetings. From these greetings, good morning, everybody. Uh, good afternoon. Hello, the, uh, then good afternoon, everybody. How are you getting on? How is life? How are you thinking with you? Uh, like this sentence, you prefer. Again, again and again, you uh, try to, to speak. In each day, you recall the sentence in many times. That time only to speak clearly in English. Okay, the next sentence, next, uh, the next one. Greetings. Introductions. My name is Malthi. I'll be teaching you English this year. I'm your new English teacher. I've got five lessons with you each week. Interrogative. Okay. For now, only introduce first one. Then you ask the students, uh, what is that? That time only. The next introduction. My name is Malfi. I'll be teaching you English this year. I'm your new English teacher. I've got five lessons with you each week. Interrogative sentences with question words. What, when, where, which, whose, whom, why and how. One, what is your name? My name is Malfi. Two, what is your mother's name? My mother's name is Sobi. Three, what is your father's name? My father's name is Sankar. Four, what is the name of your school? The name of my school is a government school. Five, what is the name of your teacher? The name of my teacher is Mr. Marin Raj. Six, what is the name of your headmaster? The headmaster name is Ronnie. Seven, what is your age? My age is ten. Eight, how old are you? I am ten years old. Nine, what is your father? My father is a daily wager. Ten, what is your mom? My mom is a housewife. Time to begin. First, uh, with greetings. Uh, next, ask the question to the students. Next, time to begin the, uh, when you begin your class, some sentences are used. Uh, for example, this one. Time to begin. Let's begin today's lesson. Let's begin our lesson now. I hope you are all ready for your English lesson. I think we can start now. Is everybody ready to start? Now we can get down to work. It's time to begin. Please stop talking. I'm waiting for you to be quiet. Settle down now so we can start. We won't start until everyone is quiet. Stop talking and be quiet. Put your things away. Pack your things away. Close your books. Put your books away. Register. Who isn't here today? Who is absent today? Why were you absent last Friday, Tom? What's the matter with Anna today? What's wrong with Anna today? Late. Some students are late. Uh, that's why we use uh, this sentence. Late. We started 10 minutes ago. What have you been doing? Did you oversleep? 
Don't let it happen again. Where have you been? Did you miss your bus? Instructions can be used at the beginning of a session. Are you ready? Everybody. Pay attention, everybody. Open your books at page. You need pencil slash rulers. We'll learn how to. You have five minutes to do this. Turn to page. Look at activity five. Listen to this tape. Repeat after me. Again, please. Who's next? Like this, not like that. Comprehension language. Do you get it? Are you with me? Are you okay? Do you follow me? Okay so far? Do you understand? What did you say? One more time, please. Say it again, please. Like this? Is this okay? Other common instructions. In, in your class time, some sentences are we need. Again and again, you practice like this sentence. We speak English within short period. Because the practice makes a perfect uh, speak in English only. I feel like that. Uh, so many pages are having in this book, uh, sequencing and the questions, what the questions, responding to questions uh, in the classroom. Yes, that is right, fine, almost, try again. What about this word? And reference. Uh, in the next class, we will uh, go that in the previous class, yesterday and tomorrow class means. I, asked, I said earlier, uh, why we are on the subject in the background, you can't see. So like this sentence, again and again, you read that. Uh, encouragement. Uh, encouragement is a uh, needed one for the students and also the teachers. Um, that is interesting one. It's very interesting. Uh, uh, that's really is very kind of you. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. I'm sure I will be there and will be with you. Like this sentence only, boosting our friends and boosting our friends' relationship and boosting your uh, students also, uh, very good interest for encouragement. Have ya yeah, go, have another drive. Practice makes perfect. Yes, good, excellent, well done. Like this sentence is, uh, you read that, and giving feedback to the students, right? Very good, that's very good, great, and uh, well done. That's right, yes. That's very fantastic, very fine, that's nice. I like that, marvelous. You did a great job, terrific. Oh, that's correct. Like this only, uh, very, very interesting in your class. Mm, the end of the last lesson, you have finished the lesson, you are already taught. And the lesson, the end of the class, that is the last five minutes, I think that. Uh, time to stop. Let's stop now. It's time to finish now. It's almost time to stop. I'm afraid it's time to finish now. We have run out of time. So like this, you use that. And uh, somebody is asking questions. Some students are very brilliant that. Some students are curi curiosity they have. Then any questions, collect your workbook and uh, uh, please pack up your books. One minute to finish that activity. It's nearly time to go. Don't forget to bring up tomorrow. The next class is waiting. So like this sentence. And then uh, no time to stop. The bell hasn't gone yet. The lesson doesn't finish till 10 minutes, then paused. Hang on a moment. We seem to have finished early. So that's a, just a moment, please. Just a second, just a second. Wait for it. 
Wait one minute. Wait for day. Wait one week. There are still three minutes to go. Just hold on a moment. So the next one, I continue this one. One more thing before you back to workplaces. Stay where you are for a moment. The next one, homework. Uh, when you give homework, that time you use this sentence. Remember your work, your homework. Take your worksheet as you leave. What do you have to do before the next lesson? This is your homework for tonight. Finish this exercise. Students, all have finished this exercise. Do the next exercise tonight and we will uh, check it tomorrow before the next chapter for Tuesday, for Wednesday, any day here instead. Uh, do exercise five uh, to, uh, to study the unit five. And there is no homework today and there is no homework tonight. So instead of this, like this, uh, I, I give many little questions. You free so many questions. Next time, uh, the next time only. The next class starts at seven o'clock. We will do the rest of this chapter. Then goodbye in the ending the class. Uh, goodbye, everyone. See you again. So now also that time is good to say goodbye. Uh, goodbye, everyone. And have a good, good holiday. Enjoy your vacations. See you all tomorrow uh, afternoon. Stand up and say goodbye to the class. Like this sentence, you use that. And leave in the room. Uh, you are leaving in the classroom. You used uh, this sentence for your queue. You use a United Kingdom uh, board, English board, and wait for the bell. Get into your queue. Be quiet as you leave. Other classes are still working. Other classes are still working. Try not to make a, no, any noise as you leave. It's tidy up time. Everybody outside. All of you get outside now. So the next one, thank you so much. Thank you, teachers. If anybody thank has any questions. Uh, it's a nice session, handling by Maladi, madam. Interesting one and informative one and uh, selective one. Uh, we, uh, the basic needs of the uh, basic grammar to all of you. Nice, madam. Super. Teachers? Madam, is it audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, the e-book is uh, in a, in a, I, share, I, I will share in the WhatsApp group. Please go through. So many sentences are having because all are trying to understand the spoken English only uh, use in your classroom. That's why that's like only you are learning the spoken English. So at that time, all the sentences, nearly 150 sentences having in the ebook. So go through the ebook and practice well. It's, it's useful to you. Thank you, teachers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, uh, Maladi, madam, one thing, one thing I want to recollect. One thing I want to recollect from your uh, uh, subject today. Uh, can I, can I talk, ma'am? Can I talk? Okay. Uh, okay, okay. A nice, uh, that hard work by Maladi, madam, and uh, find out what are the sources which are in the, that means the uh, net, internet. Uh, then she found out something for us, and it tell us that uh, we want to use. English in the classroom, not only in the classroom. I want to tell that not only in the classroom. Whenever you are having a chance to speak with others in your family or in your family members or outside, and you can speak fluently. You can speak. Sometimes it may be you know, put some grammatical error and everything. Don't bother about that. Don't search for vocabulary and everything. Simple vocabulary you can use. Uh, books are dealing with some hard vocabulary and the hard formation of sentences and everything. Don't bother about that. Go uh, and collect the information and um, uh, get the idea and implement by your own way. Now, first of all, I talked about in my class that tell first sing it in your mother tongue, sing it in your mother tongue and express into your foreign language. 
Okay. Malati Madam told us that um, we want to use with the classroom. When we go to uh, classroom only, we can use means, sir. Then at that time only we can use. I, I gave only model, sir. Yeah, model, okay. But uh, what I am telling, whenever uh, you are having some passion, uh, passion over language, you know, so you want to talk in English fluently. Somebody, somebody will that, uh, telling that, okay, she is speaking in English, or oh, she don't know Tamil and everything. Don't bother about that. Just go away. Just uh, go ahead and do it. Uh, practice, 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 practice. Practice can be uh, done. Uh, if you done, uh, if you if you do uh, practice well, that uh, skill will be uh, updated by you. Thank you, thank you, madam. Very nice, you, very informative. <laughs> Thank you, very teachers. Good. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Thank very you. nice session, ma'am. Thank you very much. Please share the e-content, ma'am, group in group. Okay, ma'am. I'll share. Surely I'll share. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am. Next. Any comments? Thank you all. Thank you, sir.